Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, let me do some oxtails here. As you see by the PV picture and the title in my instant pot, I'm going to do it with a little twist here. I'm going to do it with my tomato paste. Sometimes I do it with tomato paste, sometimes I don't. I never use it with the tomato paste in the instant pot. And y'all know I have a friend, you know, the a story. I have a friend that uh, gives me oxtails. Periodically, when he have them, he has a ranch. When he kill a perch, when he slaughter a cow, he always give me the oxtails. He cleans them and everything for me. So that's what I'm going to use here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm season them up here with my normal seasoning. Put some salt and pepper on here. Cabinets here. this all up in here and then I'm gonna dust it in flour. Move this out the way. I don't need that later. I'm gonna dust it in flour. We're gonna sear it all right here in the instant pot, y'all. But it has a, a salt tape uh, button on there. So I'm gonna use all one pot here. Okay, let me get my flour here, y'all. Move this out the way. Okay, I'm gonna just put them in here and get them browned off here in my instant pot. We're gonna get them all in here. Oh, yeah, I can get them all in there. Them all browned off in there. There we go. Y'all probably can't see that. Yeah, see that? Get them browned all off in there. And once I get them seared off, I will be right back here in just a second, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all the next step. This is an easy way to have some oxtails with a little tomato paste. It's going to be like a red cup, uh, red look instead of the brown look. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Now all I'm going to do, y'all, now, I'm just turning these over. See, I just want to get a good sear on them. A good sear on them right in here. Put that flour there. Flour definitely gonna help thicken these later on. See that? There we go. Flip on over there, buddy. There we go. So we're gonna get them brown on that side. We'll be back. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna add a tomato paste, butcher shot, a beef stock, and let them go for 90 minutes, y'all. Old school, uh, old school smothered braised oxtail in the instant pot. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Take this out of here. Get these out of here, y'all. It's a little oxtail this time, but I told him whenever he bring them, he bring them fresh, and I usually cook them the same day or the next day or so. So I got a few here. I said, why not make a video on it? Okay, y'all, what I'm gonna do there's a little flour in here. A little flour in here, y'all. So I can make the gravy. Just a little here, not a lot. I'm not even putting no onions in this one. I ain't gonna even put no onions in here, y'all. Just kind of brown it up there. around now I'm gonna put my tomato paste in here put a little tomato paste in there not a lot that's what's gonna make it give it that red looking taste y'all you get a little red distinguished taste I like to put in my tomato paste every once in a while and move y'all up here Y'all ready to see what I'm doing? 
move that around in there. Let the things cook down in there. Oh yeah. See that how it's turning that red, y'all? And tomato paste also is a natural thickener. Have I told y'all that before? Get that all mixed up in there really, really, really good. As much as possible. Now, we're going to add our beef stock to this. A little Worcestershire sauce, a.k.a. American soy sauce. People get confused. They think I'm putting soy sauce. All Worcestershire sauce is is American soy sauce without all that salt in it. That's all there. Why y'all hear me say, AKA American soy sauce, that's all Worcestershire sauce is. It's the American version of the soy sauce. Okay, now, all I'm gonna do y'all, put this back in here. Our tail's back in here y'all. We're gonna put this on for 90 minutes. See, just enough liquid to cover the Cover up the oxtail. Move y'all back here. Now Dylan, he works part time, so sometimes when I do these videos, he's not here. He works for FedEx too. Okay, put this on here, y'all. Make sure it's sealed. We're gonna go to meat. Cut this off first, y'all. Hold on. We're gonna go to meat which is 90 minutes and let it go 90 minutes y'all when we come back get me some white rice there cooked up come back we're gonna have some old school oxtails with some white rice can't go wrong with that huh so we'll be right back all right y'all we are back let me tell y'all the smell in here smells absolutely amazing these oxtails with that tomato paste so we're gonna take the lid off of here show you what we got in here we're gonna show you the goodness in here see that in there y'all look at that look at nice gravy look at nice gravy it's made see that get nice gravy there let me get my that's not doing it justice let me show y'all this look at this get nice gravy right there look at that not too thick not too thin and i got some rice here y'all for this to go on all in this oh i need to show you the main dish see how them tender no that's tender look at it. it's falling apart tender so what i'm gonna do i got me some white rice y'all i'm gonna step off give me a bowl of white rice give me a couple of oxtails going there make this famous youtube thumbnail and we about to eat some old school smothered oxtails and this pot with a little tomato paste in it can't get no better than this so we'll be right back all right, y'all, we are back here. It's on, y'all. Y'all not got to put a little hot sauce on there, but let me show y'all, give y'all a real close-up. Look at that. Look at them oxtails, y'all. And I'm telling you how fresh these is. I'm doing this video on a Wednesday. This cow was actually moving on a Monday. That show you how fresh it is. These oxtails have never been frozen. They completely fresh. You can't get no fresher than that. They was on the cow two days ago. That's how fresh they are. So, let's dig in here, y'all. Look at that. How tender that is. You don't need a knife. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ain't mm. mm, mm, mm. get no bone in that, y'all. Rinse and pot, hour and a half. Don't get no better than that. That tomato paste is seasoned so well. I didn't have to season the gravy or nothing because I seasoned the meat so well. Mm. I'm going to do nothing to it. Wow. I can say, this is a game changer. 
Big time game changer. You ain't got to be in the kitchen all day. Drop it a stove. Think it's going to burn up in the oven. Mm -mm. Get your little cornbread on there. All right, that's all she wrote right there, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we want to share this little quick video, y'all. Right in the middle of the week, almost. What is this video going to come out? Probably on a Thursday or Friday. Hit you up, hitting you heavy, y'all. It's getting to the fall. We in the fall almost, headed to the winter. Gonna be a lot of he hot and heavy dishes coming for you now. So y'all stay tuned. I cannot wait to November. I'm hitting the ground running hard. Cause I love holiday food, y'all. I love it, I love it, I love it. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twist TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.